I need to speak to you. Right now. I'm feeling scared and anxious. And like you won't believe a single word that leaps out of my mouth and burrows itself into your ears. You didn't the first time I told you I love you and you didn't the last time and I don't think you will this time. So just sit down. And listen, please just take each word slowly and carefully because I need you to hear them and understand them. It took me a long time to discover these words, almost as long as it took me to realize that I love you. Slowly, slowly, touch by touch, drop by drop, wince by wince, look by look. But now I know. I think. The sun is 18 degrees below the horizon and I can see God. I can see fairies and joy and hope and happiness and luck and love. I can see the future. Hopping and hoping into pockets of peculiarity, I see hate and destruction. I can see darkness. I'm enveloped, wrapped, voided, surrounded. I am a non-thing here. And there, in this space, I am suffering and pain itself. Then I open my eyes. Ethereal mother, brain wide open. I am touching nothing, loving, raided, wrapped, in your skin, in your mind, nothing. There is such a simplicity in living in your complex. Heaven. There is such joy in being amongst these beauties of antiquity. Athena and Aphrodite flank me and I'm overcome with happiness, brimming with tears and fear. They're brooding beings touching me. I am scared, but I am safe. I am in the hands of the divine, the benevolent. The woman who loved me came and went today. She argued. I listened and argued. Her words, venomous and awful, penetrate my skin and seep deep into me, only to lay dormant until I need them. I yearn for her to return, to hear her words reversed, banished back to their bitter birthplace, and for tears to fall, fall into my hands. I asked her name. I flew, I flew miles, miles above, above and, and swirled, swirled with the stars, the stars and, and painted, painted celestial, celestial colours, 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 colours I could I not could comprehend, comprehend, and fell back to this place by degrees. The sun is 30 degrees above the horizon, whole and high. I look at you, designed by starlight, something other than myself. My heart sinks, because this cannot be. You heavenly architect, ripped apart in my visions of sex, sex and, spite. and spite. My heart rises because this is fruitful, the quest complete. The sun has risen and shown all those the hurt and pain they suffered, created. I finally reach you novel and queried. I can feel your heartbeat through my eyes. The touch of your skin floats into my nose. The mist of sweat and love ooze into my darkest mind. I look to you, again, and fail. The sun is 30 degrees above the horizon, blunt yet a dagger to the head, cerebral and celestial. I sit and wait for the sun to set. Susserate and rest. <laughs>